In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily tweak your client's body to look like a model using the Liquify tool in Photoshop 2024. Hello photographer, welcome back to my channel. For the one who doesn't know me yet, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in the magazine style of maternity photography. In this channel, I talk about professional editing techniques to help you make more money with your photos. Now let's get into the video. Before we start this technique, let me just say that many people have different feelings about changing your client's body. Some people love doing it and some don't, and I'm not here to say what's right or what is wrong. For my style of photography, I like to make my clients feel like they look like a model. So there are a lot that goes on on my photos when I'm retouching the photos. One of the steps that I take, it is body shaping with liquefied tool that that's what we are going to see today. You can be more intense when you're using this tool and completely change your client's body. And you can also be more delicate and not change too much of your client's body. You can just choose the intensity of how much you want to use this tool. Sometimes you can just adjust the contour of your client's body and that's going to be really, really good and better for the viewer's eye. As a maternity photographer, I don't like to take photos of my clients when they are at the end of the pregnancy because normally the belly is a little bit low, it's heavier, they're more limited with, um, with position, they are tired, they are swollen. So many of the times I take photos a little bit before going to the end of the pregnancy and what happens in times is clients that they get a little bit concerned of their belly not, be, not being big enough. But one of the things that I do um, to help with that, if I have a client that's actually not showing as much of their belly, I do accentuate the size of the belly using Liquify, so in the post-production. Another thing that I like to do with Liquify as well is adjusting the outfit, sometimes the body contour, like I was saying before, just making like a perfect line and make it more rounded. I think that everything that is more rounded, it's better for the eye when it's pointed. And I'm gonna show you that um, as soon as we start the technique. Even if you don't wanna change your client's body, I still think that adjusting the contour of her body will transform your photo and it will look way, way better. Another thing that I also like to adjust are arms. I have many clients that they are concerned that the arms are really big and sometimes it just happens because of the pregnancy. It's not like they have that big arm. So that's why I do like to make them feel good and look at themselves, seeing how gorgeous they are. So this is what my photography um, will give to my clients. So I do like to adjust sometimes the arms, the legs, shoulder, the neck. Sometimes my clients have double chin, so that's another thing that I like to adjust. But again, this has something to do with my style of photography. For you, you can see until what point you like or not to change something in your client's body. Said that, let's start working in our photo and let's open the liquify tool. The first thing that I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer. I'm going to press Command J. I'm going to rename this layer to liquify. And you can go and click filter liquify or you can press Command Shift X on your keyboard and the liquify will be open. And what I like to do here is just tweak a little bit of my client's body. So for this client, she actually, for this client, she has a fake belly. She was not pregnant. Um, I was creating a catalog of outfits for this photo shoot. So she was just helping me because she's a model as well. And now what I wanna do is to accentuate a little bit of her belly and make her whole body to be a little bit more rounded. So one of the things that I'm gonna start here is just intensifying the size of her belly. So I'm gonna go with a bigger size of a brush because when you go with a small size, you just change small areas 
and then it's hard for you to make a perfect rounded line it doesn't look very good so what I want to do is just to go with a really big size of a brush and just tweak a little bit forward another thing that I like to do for the body shape is to give a little bit more contour on the back so the second thing that I'm gonna do is just by with the big brush still I'm just gonna bring the back a little bit inside so I can create this beautiful body curve um, on my for my client and here now I'm gonna go with a smaller size of the brush and I'm just gonna make sure that the belly is very rounded so if we take a look here at the end of her belly we can see that it's not perfect the line is not very perfect rounded so I just want to make sure that I can fix a little bit of this and make more rounded because like I was saying it's just better for the viewers eye You don't need to make it perfect perfect i do like to try as perfect as i can um, just because i like it better but if you already make a little bit more rounded it's already better and right here the dress has a little bit this like this pointy thing i don't like the pointy thing so i'm just making sure that this part is good So I'm going to bring this a little bit forward. And I think that this is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go here to her back where we can see her hair. I think this part here, I'm not 100% sure if it is her hair or the dress. However, I'm also going to make it a perfect line. Another thing that I like to do sometimes is just to bring the back up a little bit and I do like to make her arms look a little bit thinner. She already has really slim arm to be honest. I just like to sometimes get this line of the dress and make it bring it a little bit back in here just to elongate a little bit of her back. It's not necessarily that I'm trying to make her arms slimmer because it is already slim, but I'm just trying to think about the whole shape of her body. Another thing is I'm gonna go and make this part of her of her arm a little bit slimmer and in a perfect line. And one thing that I do in almost every photo is the elbow. The elbow tend to be very pointy and I don't like being pointy, so sometimes I just make it a little bit rounder, rounded. This is good. Um, let's see the photo from the far away vision. And I think this is pretty good. You can even increase a little bit of the butt. And it's not to give like this idea that she has a big butt. It's just to make the curve of the body to look more interesting. Another thing I like to do when I'm working with Liquify is sometimes bring more volume to the hair. Just a little bit. I think this is good. And I'm just going to lower her shoulders just a little bit as well. Okay, so this is perfect. So let's see how it's working. And you can use the preview here to see if you went too far or if you didn't do enough, you know, so you have an idea of how far you are going. But this is pretty much it, what I do in Liquify. We don't have a lot to work actually in this photo, but that's what I would do. Sometimes I do like to work on my client's neck and chin as well. So I think that her chin and her neck here is pretty good. But what I would do um, sometimes is just to make a little bit um, more of a straight line on her chin and come and go back a little bit with the 
neck as well just to make a little bit straight line again nothing too much just so we can have this beautiful jawline in here I don't think she need it but I just wanted to show um, another thing that you can do and now she has a beautiful perfect shape and it's very rounded so I would press OK and here's the before here's the after now I'm gonna do a really fast editing just to finalize a little bit our photo because our photo has no lighting correction no color correction no skin retouch we don't have anything <laughs> retouched in this in the photo this is the raw version of the photo straight from the camera so I'm just gonna do some quick editing and we can see the before and after with the almost complete editing a very very fast complete editing Now we got the complete photo because to make my client to look like a model there are other steps that I take for example skin retouch dodge and burn and I have some other videos teaching you how I do that I will link them on the description below and here it is how we will be with the complete editing for this photo here's our before and after before and after Click the like button if you like the results. Now you know how to contour and shape your client's body, make them look like a model. All my clients love the results and this is definitely something that helps me to make more money. If you wanna know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest videos here on the screen. And also subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. For now, this is everything. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time.